We're going to bring out our next guest. Are you ready for him? I'm looking forward to it. He definitely rivaled your looks. What? That's yeah, well, for maybe sure. Our next guest has been acting since childhood. He's had parts in The Clinic, Foreign Exchange, Rock Rivals, and most recently, RTE drama, Bittersweet. They say he's Ireland's answer to Jesse Metcalf. Let's say hello to Robert Sheehan from Port Leash. <laughs> Robert, you're very welcome. Thanks very much. I, I love your old T-shirt. It's ah, I love your old T-shirt. I wore it for you, Dustin. Check it out. I you like know? it. He's not unlike him. Sure he isn't. Yeah, there's a bit of a sweat mark under the left arm, though. But <laughs> you know, listen, I'm sorry. Show us your fingers there. Hold up the fingers. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You sure oh. you're from Port Leith? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were webbed, but I had them fixed. <laughs> yeah, webbed would have been Port Leith. We worked with a girl from Port Leith. Yeah, Aoife. She is 12 toes, she was telling us. Maybe you can tell us where you started out acting. Uh, yeah, well, I started out in a film called Song for a Raggy Boy, mm. which uh, I did when I was 14. I just went for an open audition for it, and it worked out well, so that's how I got started. Mm. And the work's been rolling in ever since? Well, I mean, I was in school and I was doing exams and everything, but, but you've been I had an agent and I was always going for auditions and, you know, getting the odd bit here and there. Right. Now, I, wanna, I, I was saying to Sinead, she showed me a picture. Of, in fact, we might have a look at the picture, Shirley, but she it's showed me a picture handsome. of you. Look at this. Oh. Pretty boy. Isn't he lovely? Yeah. Beauty. That's my that. latest uh, headshot. Yeah, yeah. yeah those but headshots. Were I nice. said to Sinead, I said, I know that lad from somewhere. Sinead was going, no, he's stupid saying raggy boy, bitter sweet. And then, were you in the thing exchange. we had in the den that was one of the best programs that RT have ever made called Farton Exchange? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. where I knew you from. I How played a, a nerdy little science kid. Yeah. Yeah. That was brilliant. And you were in every single episode. Well, uh, yeah, well, almost. There was 26 episodes, and I was in maybe about. Do you remember that in the Den Girls? It was absolutely brilliant. Show yeah, come on, it's it. <laughs> Show yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and come here, Robert. How, how do you feel about the press kind of saying that you're like the next Jesse Metcalf? He's the guy going out with Nadine from Girls Aloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's pretty flattering. Um, I, di I didn't know who he was, to be honest. Oh really? So, uh, but that's good. I mean, it's was it because the whole younger man thing in Bittersweet, and then he was the younger man in Desperate Housewives. And I suppose he's I handsome yeah. and, you know, mm. he's a young actor. Yeah, well, that's brilliant, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Do you like great, Jesse Metcalf, girls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I can hear you, most recently you were in Bittersweet on RT. Yeah. yeah. And you were dating an older lady. I was. How, how was that? How was that experience? It not was dating grand. The, well, dating the older lady, not really, but acting in Bittersweet. How was that? It was great. It was, uh, it was very casual because... Funnily enough, the director of Foreign Exchange, there was one yeah. of two, directed Bittersweet. Ah. So it was like a little reunion, you know, I went in and I was like, oh, you know, I didn't know you were doing this. You know what, we're going to have a look at you in Bittersweet. Oh, that really? Yeah, 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 it's good. Okay. All you want is me out of the way. I can tell. I'm messing up your nice designer house and your nice designer life. Well, don't worry, I'm going. Liam. Please, spare me the fake concern. You know, you'd want to take a good, long look at yourself, Jerry, before it's too late. Yeah. Whoa! Well, I, I Heavy was stuff. A bit Dawson's Creek, a bit desperate heads. I wasn't old enough to watch it, but I mean, I mean, it must have been fun shooting it, was it? Yeah, the, yeah, it was brilliant. It was, it was very casual. I mean, there was some romantic stuff in there, but. I mean, Not too heavy going. Yeah, and, and the anticipation of doing that kind of stuff you was worse you than that. Uh, you weren't kissing. Were <laughs> you? Uh, well, just a small. <laughs> 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 so who were your influences? Who were your big actors like? Who do you, wanna, who do you admire? Um, as far as Irish actors would go, I like Killian Murphy. I love yeah. Killian Murphy. I think he's, he's, about, he's about this size. You do know that. He's a good he? actor, though. Yeah, I've never met him. I've never met him. Red and Killian, if you're watching, eye. I'd love to meet you and let's go out for tea or a pint. Yeah, he's right. a cool guy. <laughs> and what about Jonathan Reese Myers and maybe Cotton Fettel? Yeah, no, they're brilliant. I mean, they're, they're so good because they've done so well and they're successful and, you know, and they're great actors. And You were, you know. saying, Colin, you were saying Colin can't act, it's all in his looks. What was that about? Well, that was backstage. That wasn't meant for... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> what are you <laughs> like? Hey, listen, come here. You're about now, as I say in your hotly tip, you're about to start in a new movie, right? And it's just called The Summer of the Flying Saucer, right? Yeah. Now, it tells the story of what happens when a good Catholic boy first finds love with an alien girl set during the summer of 1967 in Mayo in the west of Ireland. 
Do you think you'd be typecast if you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's my biggest worry. No, uh, it's, it, we did it a year ago, and now it's, it's coming out as part of the Dublin Cine Magic Film Festival. Oh. And so it's going to be on 23rd of April in Dundrum Cinema. And Excellent. Yeah, it's, it's great, you know, it's finally coming out because... It's come out in Sweden and stuff, apparently. Was it a lot of CGI or was it? Sweden. Like... Yeah, well, yeah, they, 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 you know, the, with the spaceship and stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on a stick, somebody just pokes yeah, up yeah, in front yeah. of it. And someone going, woo, in the background. Oh, uh, brilliant. Yeah. I don't know if you remember your um, Clanky. My what? Clanky. <laughs> My... Remember Clanky? <laughs> Who would give me that, Robert Sheehan, from Park Lee? I don't believe this. No, I yeah. don't no. believe it. Tell because... us what Clanky was, come on. You were mad into your clanky, which is a uh, blanky, yeah. like, about 10 years. Yeah, like for a 10 years. years. <laughs> like you held on to it with your life. This is not fair. This is like the first time I've been on one of these talk show things. No, I have a good idea to you. It was, it was uh, when I was a, Must a be baby, your last time as well. I had this rag. <laughs> I had a rag and a, right. a milk bottle, and I used to go around smelling the rag and drinking milk. <laughs> And the rag was like... Poor Deacon's really, really got the old gum and ferret. Come to Cork Lake Disco's there. I wouldn't let my parents wash it because I like the smell of it. Well, it actually did get washed once, didn't it, Sinead? It actually did. Yeah, we, we, uh, actually uh, have we can actually... Who are they talking about? We have coverage of this. We have coverage. We can go Robert's live. Clanky. We can go right live to the clanky. Here it is. She's going around. There she blows. This is, this is only the second ever wash-up clanky. Oh. Now, we had to prize it off, Robert. He still, ha he still keeps it. Now, that was about 10 minutes ago. Now, we had it, put it in the hot tub, the yeah. or the hot dryer. Yeah, put a bit of called. comfort and a bit of balance. And we actually have it here. We're going to reunite you with Clanky. Oh. Uh, it's <laughs> rubbed Here we go. You can give it a snuggle. Come on. Oh, do you want to give it a... Do you want to smell it there first? There it is. Dustin? There's Clanky. Do you want to smell it? Go on, give it a whiff there. Tell huh? me what you think. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, you just had to blow me now. Sorry about that. All right, well, but cheers. We don't, we don't have any milk for you, but we'll give you that. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get some milk after. Cheers. Don't worry, on us, on us, over in the canteen. Just say the afternoon show, put it down in that. Won't be a problem. <laughs> and uh, we want to thank our brilliant.